Well, this week we have been covering Joe Bryan's evidentiary hearing. It's now on hold and is expected to continue in a month or whenever DNA testing results come back. All week long, Joe Bryan's supporters watched from the Comanche courtroom. Some have never met Joe, but they came because they'd read his story and wanted to show their support. But for others, like Joe's family and friends, this was a week 30 years in the making, and they have never wavered in their belief that Joe Bryan is innocent. As witness after witness took the stand in Joe Bryan's hearing this week, the faces in the crowd remained mostly the same. Friends, family, and Joe's supporters watching anxiously as his defense team tried to convince a judge he deserves a new trial. I thought if there was any chance at all that me being here would help his spirits any, I just felt like I had to come. Lois Hayes met Joe in the second grade and says he feels like family. Joe is a good person. He's deeply spiritual and I just wanted him to know that I'm praying for him. Carol Pickett was the chaplain at the Huntsville prison where Joe's been since he was convicted. The two men met after Pickett found out Joe could play the piano. They ended up working together until Pickett retired. Joe's not guilty. There is no motive. The chaplain says most inmates come to him and try to justify their crimes, but not Joe. Joe has never, never, ever led me in any way to think that he's in any way guilty. Pickett came from Kerrville to see the hearing because he says he had to support his friend. That's the same reason Linda Lairdon is here. She became friends with Joe and Mickey when Joe was principal at Clifton High School. She says the love Joe felt for his wife could be seen by everyone. He could not carry on a conversation without Mickey's name being in it. He just absolutely adored her. And it was evident with the time we spent with them, you know. They, if they were walking down a sidewalk, they were holding hands. Joe's family declined to talk with me until after the hearing is completely finished. But every day, they showed up wearing these red shirts. They want justice for Joe. But in the end, all anyone wants is justice for Mickey. Well, that was a great story there, Leslie. Very powerful. What was the courtroom like all week? You know, I spent a lot of time watching Joe Bryan in the courtroom, and his demeanor changed a lot over the couple of days. At first, you know, um, I think he was nervous. I think everybody was very yeah. anxious. And hit, at times, you know, he hit his face. He was crying, especially looking at the crime scene photos. Mm. But in the end, it seemed like he was hopeful or a, maybe a little bit happier. And I think regardless of what happens, because we still don't know, yeah. I think the thing for him is that someone's listening and he's been trying to get this back into court for so many years and so right. many laws have changed since his trial went on. And it's all writing on this form. This is his right. only and last chance. Absolutely the last one. Okay. Well, yeah. We'll see what happens, but just the thought of him being in prison for 30 years for a crime he didn't commit and losing the wife, if mm. he's truly innocent, heartbreaking. Yep.